This morning we're learning new information about a sonic boom that startled lots of residents in the Washington DC area yesterday. Now that boom happened as two Air Force jets scrambled to catch up with an unresponsive airplane in the air. Our Cleo Green is with us in studio this morning with the latest from overnight. Cleo, for folks uh, in that area, that sonic boom, uh, boy, a big surprise. Yes, 100% Mark. You know that private Cessna plane was inter intercepted around 420 hour time yesterday. In fact, the US Capitol Police tweeted here that the US Capitol complex was briefly placed on an elevated alert until that airplane left the area. It crashed and this morning we're learning that four people died on board. We'll get into that in just a minute here and I'll break that down. But I do want to mention that several videos are now going viral on social media with people in that area describing the moments that happened just before they heard that sonic boom like Jerick McQueen here. His video going viral this morning showing his porch here from the ring camera showing us that his dog just got up and left as soon as they heard that boom. Take a listen to it. Now that sound was caused by two DC Air National Guard F 16s traveling at supersonic speed, supersonic speed to catch up with that Cessna business jet that entered restricted airspace over the nation's capital. The F 16s intercepted the plane using flares in an attempt to draw the pilot's attention, but they were unsuccessful with that. They could see the pilot was slumped over and unconscious in the cockpit. That plane eventually crashed near George Washington National Force in Virginia. Virginia with four people on board. An aviation expert says hypoxia may have incapacitated that pilot and those on board. The most likely scenario here is that there was some loss of pressurization which induced hypoxia. Hypoxia is just the loss of consciousness due to lack of oxygen. You may not even know that it's coming on until you lose consciousness. All right, take a look here because we are learning that the man that actually runs uh, the business where that plane had left tells us that his daughter was on board with their nanny and two year old toddler. So we should learn more about the family that was on board. What exactly happened this morning? We're also learning that experts are out there. Aviation experts are out there to figure out what exactly happened. I'll send it back to you.